poor white man not. I 
Isaiah 28. Where you going? Read. Go focus on Isaiah. Isaiah. Chapter 28. No. He can read. Read. Go read. 17. Whom shall he teach? Whom shall he teach knowledge? And yet whom shall he make understand God? He's ready, brother. So he said, so that's the whole thing. I'm going to ask a question. So do you believe in the Bible? I don't come with that. Read my verse. We're going to read. Do you believe in the Bible? Read. 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 Watch this. We're going to read. Whom shall he teach now? So the Bible oh, says, God. whom shall he teach now? Go ahead. And whom shall he make to understand God? Whom shall he make to understand God? Them that are weaned from the milk uh -huh. and drawn from the bread. God is me. 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 God in me, son. God in me. Read it. Upon line upon line. God in me. Line upon line. Read it. Here a little. Read it. And there a little. Okay. Read it. This is God in me. Play this. God in me. Read it. Read it. Read this one. I said, what is the God in me? God in me. Read it. Read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, verse 9, and whom shall he teach knowledge? So the question is, whom shall he teach knowledge to? Go ahead. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Then he says, who shall he make to understand the doctrine of the Bible? Go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk, them that are weaned from the milk, and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept. So when you read the Bible, it says precept must be upon precept. Go ahead. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. When you read the Bible, you can't get just one scripture and leave it in the air. So we're going to get that one scripture you asked for, and we're going to show you the proper precepts. Let's go. The book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 21. Now, when we read it, I want you to explain it to the people. Precept upon precept, line upon line. So that means you got other scriptures to back it up. The Bible says you have to. The Bible says you have to. Go ahead. Neither shall they say, lo, here, or lo, there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. The book of Luke, chapter 17, verse 21. Neither shall they say, lo, here. Oh, neither shall they say, lo, here, lo, there. Read. Or lo there. Oh, no, For behold, behold, the kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is within you. Let's all read it. Give me Deuteronomy 4 5. And let me show you how the kingdom of God is in you. Give me Deuteronomy 4 5. Because what you're mistaken is, if the kingdom is in you, that means you must be godly. If the kingdom is in you, that means you must act like a king. But you don't act like a king. You're a boy. Trust this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. So now he's going to show you how to be a king, how to be a god, how to rule. So he said, what? Read it again. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. So he said, behold, I taught you statutes, I taught you judgments. Read. Even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. So wherever you go, he said you do these things. Read. Keep therefore and do them. No, just talk about being a God kingdom in me. Keep therefore and do them. If you want to be a king, you have to act like one. So you have to do what he told his kings to do. He said, I have made you a nation of kings and priests. In order to be a king and a priest, you got to do what God says. Read. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. So, for the other nations to see king in you, you have to do the command. Give me Daniel 7. Because you think the kingdom is some lollipop land. I think it's Daniel 7, 18. Take the king. 
Watch this. I'm going to show you what the Bible says about the kingdom. Because you don't understand this Bible. Is that what I want? The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. Now, he mentioned the kingdom is in you, right? And we just showed you that in order to get that, you got to keep the commandments, right? Now watch, it Christ said it himself. But let me show you what he said about the kingdom, which you don't understand. Read. Book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. But the saints of the Most High... Now, the Bible says, the saints of the Most High, read, shall take the kingdom... Shall do what? Shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever. Now, if the kingdom is within you, and you're going to take the kingdom, what does that mean? Can you just walk with, is this how it comes up? Do we set up the laws? Who sets up the laws in America? The so-called white man sets up everything. Who gets this law people? The so-called white man. I'm going to ask you, is this in the Bible? Okay, is this in the Bible? They don't know that. He don't know that. You don't know that. See, this Bible says fools take knowledge. So we recognize the fool when we see him. We can get it. Chapter 7, no! verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever. So if we're going to take the kingdom and possess the kingdom, yeah, it's in you. It means it starts with you. That means you get yourself right, get your household right, teach your children, and then you can obtain the kingdom. But until then, you're going to walk around dumb and blind, thinking that you're African, thinking you're African-American black. That's not who you are. You're God's chosen people. According to what? According to the word of God. What's your question? You said the king, right? Wasn't King David the king? King David was a king. We all know that. So, who was this show? Man, give me these into 35. Let me show you something. What kind of thing was that? Give me Paul Rose 1, 21. I'm going to show you something. You're going to ask your question? First Peter's 4 and 11. Let me show you. Hold on, 1 Peter 4 and 11. Bring it Who can tell you never had the Bible? Who is this? The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 11. Okay, so you're supposed to be a church-going man. You love the Lord, the white man is who you love. That's, that's who you serve. Yes, I'm for my people. I'm for my people. This is who you love. So when we come out of the Bible, when we come out of the Bible, there's a problem. You see that? When we come out of the Bible, everybody's all oh, like, like kids, right? But then when you go to the Bible, what does it say? Wait. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 11. If any man speaks... So if you ask me a question, and I'm going to speak, let him speak the oracles of God. No, let me give you my thoughts and my opinions. Let him speak the oracles of God. So in order for me to take you seriously, you seriously, you seriously, you must do what? He must speak the oracles of God. Nobody's going to listen to you if you ain't coming out of the Bible. We've been listening to fools forever. We're tired of the coonery. We're tired of the coonery. We're tired of the, the house negro. The house negro is dead. Then you go see that time negro. You are the house negro. You're following him. You're the house negro. You're following him. You're fo I know you follow him. You don't have on fringes. You don't honor the Sabbath. You are not a Christian because you don't follow Christ. We don't understand you now. Now, again, he said, Deputy, this is the same shepherd we got. It's the most high God. That's who we shepherd is. But I'm going to show you what you got. Give me a second, 34. Did you want to go? Everybody got the most high God, not just you. I'm going to show you something about the so called shepherd. Because you don't know the shepherd. Start in verse 2. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. The Most High God himself said, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Why? I'm going to ask you, why would he tell us to prophesy against the shepherds of Israel? Israel is us. These 12, the tribes right here, this is who Israel is. The 12 tribes of Israel. The so-called Black Native Americans and Hispanics. You are the Israelites the Bible speaks of. So now, he said, prophesy against the leaders of Israel. 
I'm Why is that? Because they wicked. Hey. You think anything changed? You know saying, bro. No. Team of Jakes, wicked. Right Blue Dollar, wicked. Right. Eddie Long, wicked. Right. The shepherds of Israel are wicked. Right. So when you ask me about the shepherds of Israel, you better study about them first. Right. Read on. Yeah, so. When a man prophesied against the shepherds of Israel. Now, give me Deuteronomy 28 right quick. Yeah, because you are, but, okay, give me Proverbs 1, 21. I'm gonna give this is for you. This is for you before we move on. All right, give me this real quick. Proverbs 1 and verse 21. Because right now you're looking at a man who don't keep the commandments, but you're agreeing with him. Read this. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 21. She crieth in the chief places of concourse, in the openings of the gates. 22. How long ye simple ones? The Bible says, how long ye simple ones? This brother right with the bald head, like an Egyptian, is very simple. The Bible says, how long ye simple ones? How long ye simple ones? Will ye love simplicity? When you agree with everything he's saying and he don't have a scripture, you're in agreement with him. You agree with the simplicity that comes out of his mouth. That's right. We just read to you out of first Peter, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. But you have not one scripture, but yet you got much to say. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. The scorners delight in their scorning. Now, you keep mentioning love. Let's give me John real quick. First John 5. We're going to show you what the love actually means. Not what you think it means. So we turn it here in the Christian talk. Read. The book of John, First John, chapter 5. Verse 3, for, for this is the love of God. Okay, here it is for the love and kindness. The lady who said this is all it's about. This is what God's love is about. Read. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. The Bible says what? That we keep his commandments. So, I know you believe that you're a Christian, even though you don't follow Christ. The Bible says, if you love him to do what? Keep his commandments. You're not a Christian. What, what do you call yourself? You're the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God does not break the Sabbath. So if you're the kingdom of God, why are you out here right now breaking God's law? We read your verses and cut you with your own verses. You have nothing to teach. But we don't teach our people. Do the wrong 28, verse 15. I'm going to show you why you're blind right now. What's going on right now? You don't want to hear the Bible, bro. So the thing about it, you can go left, right, back, forth. You don't, you don't want to deal with you. Because you don't want to hear the Bible. Okay? Now, how many of y'all here actually love Christ? I love Christ. You love Christ. Who is hey? Say it again. Where is Christ? Are you breaking the laws? What's today? What is today? Where is Christ? What is today? So let's push it up. Let's push the out of it at a hundred percent. All right. Give me Exodus uh, 28. Because today is the Sabbath. But you black Hispanics and Native Americans, you out here breaking the Sabbath. You say you love Christ, but you breaking what Christ said keeps. You breaking what Moses said keeps. You understand? Today is the Sabbath. We're going to see what is what we doing on the Sabbath. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20. We out here because we can make it to be out here. We all break it. We all break it. Give Luke uh, 14 and 23. We out here because we command it to teach our people. We out here to gather the one third of Israel so you can repent and we can get the hell out of our captivity. You in captivity right now. You in a state, in a lower state. You at the bottom. Last high, first five. First five, last high. I'm not, I'm, I'm, sir, we all sin. You understand me? Listen, bro. What is sin? What is sin? Yes, sir, I keep the law. That's the question. What is sin, bro? First five, three, four. What is sin, bro? Listen, what is sin? Are you supposed to have a ball here right now? Are they supposed to be cooking over there on their big ass grill? Answer the question, bro. Answer in the Bible, sister. Do they supposed to be cooking on their grill? 
you just want to have the bald head, brother. See, when questions come out, they don't want to ask the questions. Give me First Kings chapter 8. You're asked about sin. Let's talk about sin. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. All right? We're going to read our history in the Holy Bible, all right? What I want y'all to all understand is we ain't out here to play with nobody. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. The young brother asked about sin. Let's see what the Bible says about it. This is the book of First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, if they sin against thee, like the brother said, we all sin. That's a true statement. Okay. We've all sinned. For there is no man that sinneth not. And thou be angry with them. God be angry with them. Let's find out who the devil is. And deliver them unto their enemies. And deliver them to their enemies. Was the black man and black woman delivered to their enemies? You better believe it. Read. So that they carried them away captive. So that they carried them away captive. Unto the land of the enemy. Unto the land of the enemy. Read that part again. Unto the land of their enemy. Read just above that. If he be angry with them. If he be angry with them. And deliver them unto their enemies. So that they carried them away captive. So that they carried them away captive. Unto the land of the enemy. What is America? America is the land of our enemies. Near. Far or near. It says far or near. Far near from what? Jerusalem. Read. Yet if they shall bethink themselves. Now listen good. The Bible says yet if they shall bethink themselves. That means the number who you are according to the Bible. Come on. Yet if they bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captive and repent and do what? And repent and repent and make supplications. That means pray before Lord. Come on. Unto thee, unto thee, read. In the land whether they were carried captive, unto the land where they were carried away captive. Come on. Saying, we have sinned. What does God want us to say? What does God want us to say? We have sinned. He must say that we have sinned. We and have done perversely. And have done perversely. Have our people done perversely? You better believe it. Now let's go to Deuteronomy 28. So what are we proving? That the blacks that went into slavery are the Israelites. You're the Israelites the Bible speaks of. You're the Israelites the Bible says. You're the Israelites. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. But it shall come to pass if you will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. Come on. To observe to do all his commandments. To observe to do all God's commandments. And his statutes whether I, which I command ye this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, before we get into the curses, let me explain what Jesus Christ said. The problem is about the black man. If y'all see black men have to do it like this, hold this, just hold this for me. Give me Luke chapter 7. Luke 7. Bro, you ain't got him. You don't have a brother. You don't got him. Look at the condition of our young men. Look at the condition of our young men. Look at the condition of our young men. You hold the brother to be ashamed. Luke 7 verse 31. Come on. This is the book of Luke chapter 7 verse 31. The Lord said, Whereunto them shall I liken this men of this generation? Read it again. I need some, I need to read this loud. And the Lord said, Whereunto them shall I liken the men of this generation? Jesus Christ said, What shall I compare the men of this generation? Not the And to what are they like? What are the men of this generation like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace. They are like children. They are like children. They are like children. They are like children. Who's speaking? Jesus Christ. The black Messiah. He said the men of the generation act like kids. Grown men. Hucking, shucking, and jiving. Now let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. I want all y'all to bear with us and bear witness that we teach you the truth. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not 
hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Who's speaking? Moses. He said it shall come to pass. If you do, hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God. Come on. To observe, to do all his commandments. To observe, to do all God's commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Let's find out if the Bible is true. If the black man and black woman have curses upon them. Jump down to verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now hold on right there. Hold on right there. Hold us up for me. Hold it up. Everybody say the white, the white man wrote the Bible. Read the verse again. Thy son and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. According to history, this is a college where our sons and daughters given to another people. You better believe we was. We were given into the hands of the so-called white man. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What are we about to prove to you? That you're the Israelites and the Bible is a true God. Verse 48 now. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemy. Therefore shall you all serve your enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent the white man against us? The Lord of heaven and earth. Read. In hunger. If you want food, God says serve your enemy. And in thirst. If you want water or drink, serve your enemy. And in nakedness. If you want cold, serve your enemy. And in want of all things. Listen good. If you want anything, education, you got to serve your enemy. Watch this. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So black woman, did that happen to us? Did this happen to us, Miss Black Woman? Miss Black Man? Yes. You saw, you follow that white man right there. He going to lead to the death. Verse 48, one more time. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. Therefore shall you serve your enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which God shall send against thee. In hunger and in thirst. You black women, I love this white man. You suck the dirt from between his toes. God going to judge you. Read it again. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger and in thirst. And in nakedness. And in one of all things. And he put a yoke of iron. No, read it right, read it right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Did we have yokes of iron on our neck in slavery? You better believe it. You blacks want to be ashamed of slavery? God, you went into slavery for breaking God's commandments. Right. You are the biblical Israelites the Bible speaks of. Right. I know some of you think you niggas. Some of you think you Greeks. And those of you that think you Greeks, you dumb as hell. How many of you college kids know the origin of the Greek fraternities? How many of you college kids know the origin of Greek fraternities? Look at this. This is your education right here. How many of you college kids in sorority fraternities know the origin of Greek fraternities? This is why the white man calls black niggas. This is why he calls us that. Because we're an ignorant race. The truth come out, you don't want to hear the truth. You want to hear white man religion. You want to hear lies. Read it again, verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Therefore shall you serve your enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger, in food, and in thirst. Water, and in nakedness. If you want clothes, you're going to serve your enemies. And in one of all things. If you want education, how to read, how to write. You're going to serve your enemies. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until you have destroyed thee. The proof is in the pudding. We had yokes of iron on our neck. How many of you black men know your history? How many of you know your identity? Not near one of you black women don't know either. Jump down to verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The word Egypt means bondage. And the Lord shall bring you into bondage again. Come on. Into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. And cargo slave ships. Where's the sign with the ships on? Turn that around. Where's the sign with the ships? You don't got it? Alright, read it again. Read it again. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So what are we reading? Bible prophecy. 
that the Israelites were going to slavery on cargo slave ships. What does that prove? You're the Israelites. You're the Israelites. Let me tell you about Black Lives Matter. I see the young lady got Black Lives Matter t-shirt. Black Lives Matter is run by the white man named George Soros. He runs the Black Lives Matter movement. So read it again. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again with ships. What are we reading, sister? Your history. We're reading your history. Come in. You should be able to come in. Okay, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Meaning, and you shall go into slavery again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You will not see your homelands no more again. And there, and there once you got off the slave ships, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You black man and black woman, God said you would be sold to your enemies. What are we reading? The greatest history book in the world. It's called the Bible. Read. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. Slave women. And no man shall buy you. You had Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, okay? You had uh, Marcus Garvey. Great black leaders rose up and they were all put to death. But your enemies are so go white. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.